Hey there. On this video, we're going to be installing ArchBang Linux. Uh, the installation for ArchBang Linux is not as simple as the uh, Arch install script. This is a more detailed uh, installed script, but uh, it's not that hard at all. So uh, I got the uh, ISO on the virtual machine here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the screen and it's going to open up the install. So you can see right here, you have other options here, office, because this is your uh, menu. So it's open box, anywhere on the right screen that you click, it opens up a menu. So what I'm gonna do right here is just open up the install script. So clicking on that, we'll open it up. And then you can see right here, ArchBang installer. And you have options right here. So you gotta fill all of these out and get it installed. So I guess you could do uh, one at a time or you could choose them all and it'll just do them back to back to back to back. But I'm gonna do it for this video one at a time. So you can see how it's installed. That way, if you wanna install it yourself, you can just follow along and get it installed. So let's go with uh, option number one, which is partition scheme. So we just click on one, hit enter on the keyboard, and it opens it up. So I'm gonna select one default, click enter, and then select partition program. I'm gonna go select two with CF disk. Open that up, select the uh, drive, and select GPT, and then I'm gonna click on new. The size, I'm gonna give it one gigabyte. And this is gonna be for the boot. So on the type, I'm gonna go up to a BIOS boot. If you if you were on a, a EFI system, you would use EFI system, but since I'm just doing it in a virtual machine, I'm choosing BIOS boot, just to keep it simple. All right, and then uh, click on right. Click yes, or type in yes. All right, now I'll go to the free space again. Select enter, and this one I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a two gigabytes. This is just gonna be a small swap. So I'm gonna do this as a swap. So on the type, I'm gonna click Linux swap. Then I'm gonna select right. Then uh, down arrow, back to the, uh, well, I guess first I gotta, Type in yes. Okay, now I can use my down arrow, go to the rest of it. Uh, partition size, I'm gonna just give it the rest of the size. And then on the type, it's gonna be Linux file system. And then type on right, type in yes. And then now I can quit out of here. So I have my three, uh, my three, uh, Partitions separated. So the first one's going to be swap. The second one's going to be, uh, no, the first one's going to be grub. The second one's going to be swap. And the third one's going to be the system. So for the root, it's going to be the third one, which is the largest one. So I click number three or enter number three. Type Y. Yes. Select file system. And we'll go with ext4. It's just a force of habit. I always do it. And that's done. Now select swap file system. Let's go to uh, two file. And it automatically selected the one that's 1.9 gigabytes. So it recognizes it as the uh, swap. So select yes. All right. Select another partition. So I did not, I did not need to do the last one. So that's why I just canceled it all. It ought, it automatically recognizes it as the boot. So now let's go to number two. So number two is to install the actual system. So this will take a couple of minutes. So I'll pause the video here and then uh, come back when ready for option three. And the installation is now completed. So we'll go to option number three now. And I'm gonna select the host name. So I'm just gonna keep it simple. Linux hub dash VM. And that should do. So now option number four, we're gonna set up our locale. So we are, let's see, America, so that's number two. And Los Angeles, where are you? 94. Mm, select yes. And now United States 70. And yes. All right, now five, hardware clock. Select one, UTC, keep it simple. And number six, locale. And it should be ENUS. 
which is 93. Type Y, let it fix itself and Okay, the locales are finished already, so let's click on number seven. And the key map is going to be in, I believe. So, where is EN? I see ES. Or should it be US? There it is, 96. All right, now let's go to bootloader, which is number eight. I'm going to just select grub. Automatic. Now that's done. Let's go to nine, set up a root password. All right, that's done. And the final one, create a user. Give it a password, repeat it. And we're pretty much done here. So now if we click on D, it should uh, reboot the system. Okay, so uh, ArchBank does not come with a startup manager like LightDM or SDDM or GDM. So basically, you're booted into the TTY and you just enter your username and then your password and it automatically go onto your system. And there you have it. That's ArchBank Linux. So... Uh, in this video, we just did the installation. In the next video, we'll do uh, we'll do the actual overview. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you how it's installed. Since it's not uh, your standard inst installer, and uh, it's not like the Arch install script. It's a little more detailed, but uh, you know, it's not that hard. So it's easy to do. So uh, like I said, this was just an installation video just to uh, keep them separated so you can see how it's installed. And if you want to follow along, you can use this video and follow it along. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna do the actual overview. So there'll be links uh, to link the, both of these videos together. All right, all right, you guys. Check you out on the next one, and I'm out.